Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. In today's video what I'm going over is showing you how to create and set up your own custom skybox as you can see on screen here. So this one's obviously got a massive line down the middle there, that's purely just because of the texture that I'm using, but what I'm going to go over today is showing you how you can actually create your own and set up custom skyboxes as you can see here, just to give your project a little bit of a different look. And it doesn't have to be just space like this, this is just the one which I'm going with today. So this is what we're going to be going over and creating today. So without further ado, let me delete all this and I'll show you how I've done it. So what we want to do first is we want to actually create our Skybox texture. So what you can do is you can download your own HDR from somewhere else or you can create one as you can see here. So again, this is useful if you want to create your own space thing. So if you wanted kind of nebula stuff, you can use this one just to create your own kind of Skybox here. You can see you can drag and really create this or this will just do it for you with a random seed like so. And I'll leave a link in the description down below to all of these websites if you want to try them out for yourself. But what I'm going to do is just download one, so let's just get any random one. For example, this one's fine for me. And then in here I'm going to right click, save image as, then just save it anywhere, so I'll name it spacesky.png. And you'll notice this is a PNG. We want it to be a HDR. So again, I'll leave a link in the description down below to this website where you can simply convert the PNG into HDR by dragging and dropping on here and it will convert and you can then just download it nice and easy like so. So once it's done you can once again just download it so I've now got spacesky.hdr like so. Then we can minimize this to go back into Unreal and simply just drag and drop this into our project so we now have this in here. So if I to go back in you can see we now have this texture here but it's not a texture 2D is a texture cube which is very important this needs to be a texture cube so when you import it if it's not a texture cube you need to make sure it is actually a HDR file format and I'm going to open up this texture straight away here and you'll notice we have something like this all we need to change in here is the MIP gen settings to be from texture group to no MIP maps texture group to be from world to skybox that one's obviously makes sense and the compression settings to be from HDR to user interface 2D and this is just going to do multiple things A make sure it actually works B make it of higher quality and C also make sure it runs nice and efficiently for our game as well and once you've done all that we can save and close it now we just need to actually create the material so we can open up our content browser again right click and go to create a material and name this one space skybox or whatever it is that you want to name it and I'll just put material at the end there opening it up straight away now there really isn't a lot to do in here first things first though we need to change the shading model in the bottom left from default lit to be unlit like so oh sorry that's default lit unlit there and now you'll notice we now only have access to these three nodes here we only need to use the emissive color however so what we're going to do is drag out of the emissive color and we want to get texture sample parameter cube like so under the parameters there we want the cube one don't worry about the error we're going to get to that in a second as we're still creating the code then in here we're going to scroll down and we'll change the parameter or the texture to be our skybox texture which we just created so i named mine simply space sky like so and you can also give this a name as well if you wanted to so the actual parameter for example skybox texture just so you know what it is then this is obviously saying we need UVs and that is accurate. So for the UV we're going to drag out and we want to get reflection vector like so and we just want the bottom one reflection vector WS. So we now have the custom world normal and you can see this is already starting to take shape and look how we want. One other thing though is we need to actually define what this vector is in a reflection vector. So if we hold down 3 and left click we can get a vector 3 node here and then you can obviously change these values about for what you want but 0, 0, 0 is going to work perfectly for me and we can save and apply this and this is now all we need to do we've set up our skybox material it's very simple again you'll notice I've got a sharp line down the middle that's just purely because of the texture I'm using you'll notice it's got different colors on either side there so for your own one you'd want to make sure it's got a nice seamless tiling to it but again this is just a very quick one which I'm going over so once you've done that you can obviously close it then all we need to do is you need to select your sky sphere which for me is just the static mesh sky sphere you get with Unreal 
and obviously scaled up massively so I just copied and pasted this from the default level and then we're going to change the material to be the one we just created so again I named mine space skybox matte like so and you'll notice we now have this material here the sun is obviously absolutely massive with this texture but again you'll notice we've already now got our own custom skybox material inside of our level it was very quick and easy to do again this texture is not an amazing one but it gets the job done it shows you what we've created and what we've done and now if you're in an empty level like i am this might be pitch black for you like so all i did was added in a directional light and gave it a slight color to it just to match the theme of the skybox a bit more so maybe make it a bit more red or pinky like that and so you get something along these lines but i think blue was a good color but i think that'll be it for this video as we've done everything we want to do what we've done is we've set up and created our own custom skybox material using various different websites to actually create the texture and convert it and then in unreal we just turned it into a skybox material that we can actually use so if i was to open up just the third person default map as well we can obviously change it in here to get a better idea of what it looks like so if we go to details change it here to be space skybox map like so and you'll notice we have something like this obviously in this level they've got a lot of different lighting things set up which is why it looks slightly different to what it did in the empty level but obviously you just change it for your own custom and personal needs you'd probably want it in an empty level so you can really customize and change everything which you want because there's also volumetrics and post process and lots of other things but thanks so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you found it helpful and if you did make sure to like subscribe down below so thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one